and we arrived in a new continent. If you look to the faces, we're in Africa, South Africa specifically, Joburg, Johannesburg. I'm gonna go eat for some safaris, spend some weeks here, and we're pretty excited. So we arrived safe and sound in our Airbnb, and we kind of got scared because all the stories and also the locals here told us it's gonna be like you shouldn't be walking around like like 90% of the city, and the place we are right now should be kind of okay. So this place where we stay is actually used to be one of the slums, but it improved it. So it's now like an artsy kind of place, like a building kind of place, all kind of arts and design and people shooting a movie here. And a lot of cafes, and this cafe we're sitting right now, we're gonna try Ethiopian food. So this is the food we got, Ethiopian food. And you're supposed to be eating with your hands, so we don't have any cutlery here. Um, we got the veg option. It looks pretty nice, it's, it's a bit similar to Tali, I think. We got the Apartheid Museum, um, and we just got entrance tickets. I got a non-white non entrance ticket, uh, and this, this stuff of it. During the Apartheid Museum, everyone had an identity card explaining their ethnicity. So Chinese, Catholic clearly, there's a white, the white had nothing written apparently. It's apparently one of the best museums of South Africa. We walked for three or four hours to the Apartheid Museum. It was shocking, really shocking. And you know, it's really a part of history one should learn. Actually. We're ready for our Kruger Safari a checklist, camera with zoom lens, binoculars, <laughs> a map. I'm all ready for this stuff. You're such a tourist. Nope. <laughs> we just sighted our first zebra here. Look how beautiful it is. It's like five meters away from us. So we're coming across this elephant family, it's so cute. Can you see the little one? So this is the moment you can't come too close because they can get aggressive. That's why we're keeping distance. You can see enough from here. But look at this. This is incredible. It's rhinos, rhinos, I don't know how you pronounce it, but they're like crossing the street. They're huge. And there's the rest of them. So Kruger has these bungalows you can rent and they have an outside kitchen. I'm gonna show you the room later on. And what's funny is there are the monkeys running around everywhere and they try to grab food from you while you're cooking. So I'm here to protect myself. Just joking. I just have fun. How the lodge looks from the inside, the bungalow I mean. It looks pretty nice I must say. I mean you pay a lot of money like $100 per night. But it's pretty decent, decent for the middle of nowhere in the Kruger Park amidst uh, wild animals. We're gonna start our next day safari. It's 6.30 in the morning. Slept pretty well actually. Look at the beautiful morning colors here. And looking forward to see some awesome, especially lions and hyenas today. Good morning from Africa. We're being welcomed by these beautiful giraffes. We're just eating here in the morning. Sun is shining. It's Africa red. We're on our safari. A whole herd of zebras here. The small baby ones. They're very cute. Actually waiting for predators to approach them. Since they're here very relaxed. I don't think any predators are near. So we made it back to our new play rest camp. We're gonna stay tonight. Uh, on the way back we saw lions and hyenas. They were beautiful. We had no time to stop and enjoy seeing them. And tonight we're going to do a night safari, so we have our torch and binoculars. We're going to see what kind of cats we're going to see. Uh, he actually spotted a lion. This is unbelievable. <laughs> 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 He's closing an eye. So you see here, doing a night safari, you see hyenas here. It's a mother with small pups. Well, this one coming here near us. Oh, don't be afraid. Hey okay, everyone, it's a beautiful morning here at Kruger Park. It's gonna be our last day, unfortunately. These are the type of um, bungalows we slept in, which is pretty amazing. And this one, the elephants, has an amazing view here of the park. 
Here at Kruger, we have a brekkie with a beautiful view <laughs> over the Olifants River. Not only Olifants, also closer down from the coast. Yes. Look how big these monkeys are over here. They occupied the bridge, so I'm not sure if you have to pay toll or. I know, they are not sure. Just stop along the road and these two elephants are bathing and at the same time playing around. It's so beautiful to watch this. Oh that looks pretty aggressive. But they're actually just playing around in the water and throwing water at each other. Okay. So it's up to this guy, he keeps playing around, all covered with mud. And he makes this beautiful sound. I hope he makes it again. The sun is setting and it's the end of today, but also the end of our safari for the last five days in Kruger Park. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any leopard or cheetah, uh, but who knows, maybe next time, who knows, maybe in our next destination. Uh, we're in Durban and tonight we're going to eat Indian because we're going to school of Indian people. And we know the Sif Kebab is very dark here, by the way, with here rice, uh, delicious curry, fresh naan. Wow. Another day, another flight here at Durban International King Sasha Airport. Not sure if that's the name, but it's something with the king. And we're flying to Cape Town. We arrived here in Cape Town, and you see the tail of in the back. But the weather isn't that good, unfortunately, and apparently this is normal during this time of year. So we hope we can get better weather to get the real view of the tail of We just arrived here in the Airbnb in Cape Town. And this is one amazing apartment. We're gonna live here for for next week, and it kind of reminds us of a place in Melbourne. So, yeah, we're gonna enjoy here and enjoy a local life. And that's the best thing about Airbnb. We can find it easily. 50 meters from our apartment, we found this burger joint. Apparently, it's the best burger joint from South Africa. Also, I have the veg version. I have the beef patty and coke in a bottle. I mean, that's the best combination ever. What's up, guys? Uh, today we're off to Robin Island. Uh, we're gonna take a, bo a boat. Unfortunately, as a tour, you can walk there alone on your own. Uh, but we're looking forward to saying more about the place. Not some data was present for 20, 30 years. View over Cape Town, completely covered in clouds, unfortunately. I think normally the view would be better. It's so enjoyable. Mandela's cell. That's where he was for 18 years. We just returned from the prison tour. Uh, it was guided by an actual prisoner in the past. Um, his stories were pretty shocking. How they kept, even in the prison, uh, treat black and non-blacks differently. We found this food court kind of environment. It looks pretty underground here, but we have all kind of uh, Eastern food, actually Indian food. And it's ridiculous to see how fresh they make everything from the bread to the kebab and everything. So, looking forward to it. This is how the food looks like. You see how fresh the naan is, the garlic naan, with my seed kebab and chips, Rosas lentil uh, curry, rice, and the masa dosa still coming. Altogether, not even like 10 euros or something, it's nothing. We're gonna do the lion's head hike today, and they say Cape Town is the most beautiful city in the world. And I think I don't understand why. I mean, just look at the view already. And we have, have to go up 700 meters higher to see the real view of Cape Town. Just having a lunch break over here. Back, you see Robben Island. We spent a day yesterday. like my dream. It's a paraglide with the the motorized paraglide actually. It makes a lot of noise but I mean just just fly. There's another spot. Just look at here. It's truly amazing. So I mean just look the sun is setting and we're still an hour to go to go down and head up towards Table Mountains before 
sun is setting. So this is the view here from the top of the Table Mountain. It's a bit of a tourist search around this, so I'm trying to find a spot where not many people are. Yeah, it's really amazing. Last seconds of sunset over Cape Town. And our day has come to an end in Cape Town. You see here, it's dark already. Why has it gone on? It's still beautiful, even at night. Unbelievable. We're here at Bo Cap. It's a neighborhood in Cape Town full of colorful houses. It's just really strange to walk here with all this color around us. It's a neighborhood where a lot of Malaysian people live. Just look once again how colorful it is over here. Even the mosque in the, in the on the left, it's all colorful. This is the Botanical Gardens. They say the most beautiful botanical garden in the world. I think especially because of the backdrop. And me. That's my wife. <laughs> and chilling here. Kind of reminds us of the Botanical Gardens in Melbourne. As always, everything reminds us of Melbourne. Okay. We're driving towards the beach and look at these beautiful roads they built just along the sea. It's really epic here. We arrived here at um, Baton's Beach? No? Camps. Camps Bay. And these beaches is what Cape Town is famous for. And the sea looks pretty rough. I think ideal for surfing, but I'm not gonna try it. I think. Look how beautiful it is here. Beautiful white beach, mountains in the back. Cape Town is seriously maybe one of my favorite cities. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it truly really has everything. The sky has turned dramatic. Look how beautiful it is. I've heard a lot about the. Um, African sunsets, but this I think one of the most pretty ones. We're to the VA waterfront and they have this uh, local food market. It's amazing. You can get here fresh Tunisian stuff, all kind of African food. It's like a really cool it's place. It's a food heaven. I, I, I can die here. So it's not We're going to try it out. We have chicken, lamb, avocado, and smoked salmon. This looks delicious. So I can't wait to try it, as you can see. This is how it really looks like. You see the houses pretty resemble the ones in Holland, I think. I'm not sure. No or way, Jared. not Jared? Holland. <laughs> but sure is beautiful. There's another side of v and waterfront. And with the beautiful K mounts in the back. And this little harbor in the front. Sitting over there. 